What's up everybody, it's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, and as you can tell by the picture, we had to fight another Engineer Clan, so if you want to watch some great replays, mostly Town Hall 9, and sit around and bitch about Engineer Clans, you are in the right place. <laughs> Decided to wait a few minutes <laughs> to make the video, and uh, get over, my original video idea was not quite as nice as this one's going to be, so... Normally I, I make the video and then have to apologize for the next two weeks, so we're not going to do that this time. So, uh, let's get right into the replays. First replay, there was one Town Hall 7 at the bottom of their clan. I think we had five or six lower players in, the, in this war. And they just ended up getting matched up all against Town Hall 10s. And you'll see a couple of bases coming up next. Uh, this is a niche 2. Uh, nice Dragaloon attack. Dragons are definitely back in the meta. Uh, they, you can use dragons in Town Hall 8, 9, 10. I haven't seen a lot in Town Hall 11 yet, but I'm sure uh, with the right kill squad, you can use them in Town Hall 11 too. So I, I've seen, I've been all over YouTube. Uh, dragons are definitely hot once again. And um, Anish just kills it with them. I, no doubt about it. It wasn't a bad base. I, and, I, and I know it's a Town Hall 7 versus Town Hall 8, but unfortunately. When you are fighting an engineer clan, there's going to be a lot of dip down attacks because a lot of their bases are lower on defense. And that kind of brings me to my first point. And we're not going to cry about this too much. I, I put the baby in the beginning of the video, which made me realize that I'm not going to be a baby. But uh, it kind of takes some of the the luster, some of the some of the enjoyment out of the out of the attacks. Here's little boss. Now she can attack max town hall nines with this account. Instead, she has she's been charged with this particular base, and you can see the defenses. We uh, we know right away. I don't even know if there's an air defense. Do they even put air defenses? I don't. Who made this base? <laughs> I mean, damn. Uh, Decided to make an engineered base uh, based on the base weight and apparently they don't know what base weight is because there's no air defenses which have little to no base weight whatsoever. <laughs> so, poor boss. I mean this is kind of, when you have to fight a base like this, it kind of takes away from the overall experience of the war. It really does. So I, I, I even fast forward through most of it because we already know what's going to happen. Now on offense though. They had all max Town Hall 10 troops. I'm not sure. The, the the heroes weren't great level. I mean, I think they were 15 or something like that. So, I mean, not necessarily an overpowering 10. But whenever you have something that's that bad on defense, but yet has max Town Hall 10 troops, I mean, it's just it's so lopsided. So, and here's another one. Uh, this is Nemesis, one of Creeper's accounts. Does a great job on the double, double zap quake. Takes out two of the air defenses right off the bat. Now, you gotta be careful with this attack here because you have no spells left. So, what he's gonna do is he's gonna be careful to pull the clan castle troops. Once the clan castle troops come out, he's gonna kill the clan castle troops with, with his dragons. And he may even bring in, I'm not sure, I haven't seen the replay yet, but he may even bring in his heroes, his queen, to take care of the, the, the enemy clan castle troops. So, he pulls them across the base. <laughs> That's what I really think. <laughs> and uh, more and more common clan castle troops, you see a baby dragon and a dragon. And even though the baby dragon is not enraged the whole time, that he, he has enough enraged time that that's advantageous to do that. Uh, remember too, uh, when you're pulling clan castle troops, they get pulled based on the amount of camp space that you get to cross into their trigger zone. So let's say I'm not sure exactly how it loads. I don't know if I just don't know because we've loaded up the clan castles a million different ways. We've we've tried to figure this out. I don't. I haven't seen any real solid um, information on it as far as if you put a baby dragon and a dragon in first, which one is definitely going to come out first. But I know it's based on the camp space that you cross into the trigger zone, which is why if you have a um, a clan castle that's full of, a, of an assorted amount of troops 
and you'll put a hog rider in for example one hog rider which has, has five camp space well it's only gonna pull a maximum of 20 troops out and I believe it's 20 and I could be wrong on that too uh, but I will definitely not get all 30 out if it's a 30 uh, camp space clan castle. So That's why we will, you know we tell a lot of people that, that if you just mix it up and I've seen this in a lot of uh, really good clans, too uh, I've visited a bunch of clans and some of the some of the top clans will not put dragons and will not put some of these top elite Troops in their clan castle just because they want to mix it up and make it um, Make it hard for the, the attackers to predict what's inside the clan castle and honestly, the element of surprise is just as good as a strong troop, especially on that first attack. After that, you can plan for it a little more. But if you have a 35 space um, clan castle and you make it hard to pull, then they're going to have to keep on sending troops over the trigger zone to get all those troops out. So great, great attack. Six pack from Nemesis. Decided to give him both attacks in the video. This is something that he does often, and I, we don't we rarely show both attacks. But as another attack, is another Dragaloon attack. It's something that he does really well. He he will use dragons re religiously. Um, once he gets all of his accounts in Town Hall 10, uh, stick around because we will have a bunch of Town Hall 10 Dragaloons because he'll keep on using them in Town Hall 10. Uh, does a great job. Just understands the pathing really really well. Uh, and here comes the baby dragon. It's enraged. But uh, a couple puffs from the, from the dragon, it's going to go down. Then he surrounds the big dragon with a couple dragons. But it still did manage to take out, I think, one of his dragons. So not a bad clan castle uh, for whatever heart name is over there. I have no idea. <laughs> and, and if you notice, uh, another engineered base where the walls are substandard. Have a bunch of max Town Hall 10 defenses but not none of the elite defenses you know they're gonna have max tests and popping popping up but with the town hall 9 attack you're gonna take out most of these town hall 10 engineered bases the only problem is is that they can attack your town hall 10s because he actually has again all max troops for town hall 10 and i haven't seen and on top of that this this is another bitch i have about this uh, I, I know a lot of clans like our clan we have several accounts that you would consider engineered that we've created specifically to combat this and now because we have them I think we see even more engineered clans because we have things that the computer will look at as engineered so now we're gonna get matched up with it okay I get that um, when we fight another fair play clan that does not have several engineered accounts we try to keep it as fair as possible as far as who we attack but they actually held off on all three of their lower attacks until the end. So now they have six attacks from their from their 20, 21, uh, you know, I think it was 15, 20, and 21, something like that, that they're going to attack our top five with. So I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> And this is one of those things too, and I've said this in other videos, I'll say it again, that this is something that, this is probably the most talked about topic in the office at Supercell, is how do we manage this, the engineer problem. They don't want to lose players, That and it is a problem because we've had players quit because they can't deal with uh, wars where they, everyone in our clan plays well. And then we lose because we're dealing with a clan that has seven or eight or nine engineered bases in it. And all nine of our Town Hall 9s have Town Hall 11s across from them. And it's just uh, disheartening. If that's a word, someone looked that up for me. Uh, to, to, to deal with that, you, you give all this effort out and then you, you end up losing because the other clan thinks that winning is everything. And, uh, you know, oh well. Now we're getting now we're getting into some real, some of the real attacks, and I wanted to show this. This is not a three star, but damn, it was close. And there was an, a backup attack on this base. This base right here held up re really well. Um, the whole base went down except for one piece. And in the next attack, which I didn't show the next attack, um, it was the same exact result. Different troops, uh, a little bit different attack, similar but different. Uh, but the same results though uh, that same exact one one piece is left on the on the on the map at the end of both attacks so pretty good base design this is not a new design this is this has been around 
Um, now this this base on the other hand is completely maxed Town Hall 9 all the walls are maxed all the defenses are maxed This is what we want to see we want to we would like to see every single base on the other side to look like this um, if, if you know if we have a 20 verse 20 we want to see 20 max bases. That's fine uh, We just don't want to see 10 Engineered bases that are 11s against our 10 Town Hall 9s Because uh, we can do it too. We uh, we've all talked about it and decided against it but we could have all made second accounts third accounts and pushed them all to town hall 11 and left all the defenses low and then gone into war and ended up three starring every single person in the other clan and then getting three starred every person in our clan and have every single war end up in a tie which would be just thrilling for everyone in the clan which is why the engineered it's a, I, I feel like it's it's gonna dwindle down to, no to nothing eventually it's just taking a long time <laughs> so uh, great attack by Steve now he started to run a you know started to run out of troops he's still got the, the the queen and the healers and just has to beat through that last wall and if he had another probably four or five seconds he gets this base but he doesn't that one Tesla is the last one standing and ironically the next attack was from Alm and he had the same exact thing happen to him. That one Tesla was last thing standing. So great base design. Give him props for that. They love this base design here. This is a common Town Hall 9 base. Uh, they have this, this exact base with a couple of different variations as far as where the trash buildings are and everything. So this is ATB. Very first war with Damage Inc. Just joined the clan. Decides he does a great job pulling the clan castle troops pull the clan castle troops over into the corner And then he starts the laloon and just check out how just how much precise um, Play he gets on all these troops. He's coming in from one two three four five different angles uh, with, with lava hounds trailing lava hounds immediately with the balloons uh, got the queen kind of cleaning up things on the outside uh, has two uh, two baby dragons cleaning up trash buildings and moving in towards the core and kind of gets beat up on the top side of the base but has so much down the bottom still and the the spell placement was was really nice he he got a great spread on the spells and coming down to that la those last couple defenses again but the baby dragon was by itself for a second got that boost on it for a few minutes takes out the the expo getting tongue tied boy it happens every video uh, and that la <laughs> That last pesky Tesla is always the, seems to be the thing standing in this war. But just check out how many troops he has left. He has all the pups left. He's got a couple minions left. Has a queen working her way around. Has a baby dragon. Nothing left but ground troops. Fast forward through this one a little bit. Great first attack for the clan. You know, I've done. I've been in a lot of different clans with Too Easy, and I don't know. I I don't three star very easily on my first attack. I try so hard, and then I stumble and fall on my face. But uh, here's another base. looks looks very similar. This is this is Creeper. This is the first account that he ever brought into the clan. Now he has nine. Yes, nine. <laughs> and uh, and ironically, he he is now holds the second most amount of of accounts in the clan. <laughs> Which you know, how do you have nine accounts and be the have the second most in the clan? <laughs> Uh, we have one one guy with ten, but uh, oh yeah, check this out. Got some new uh, new graphics on on the clan castle, looking good. Wanted to show that. I just noticed that myself a little earlier, so I wanted to show that. And and creeper comes in with the same type of, of attack. He has Gola Loon coming in, using bowlers out of the clan castle, and these bowlers. I'll, I'll tell you what. I used to advise against using ground troops in there with the air troops just because you'd, you'd eliminate all the ground defenses if you don't bring any ground troops at all. But bowlers are so strong out of the clan castle that they're just such an asset. And now it does a great job, comes in for, at two different angles on that last wizard tower. And he's got one last group of defenses, which this is where a lot of these attacks end. But because he's coming in at two different angles, uh, he's got the bowler still beating down on, on some of the ground things. Now he's got uh, coming in at. On the last couple defenses coming in from two different angles uh, that's just perfect another great attack I think he's got eight 
seven or eight three stars this war. Just representing the clan, great. So, nah, I'm pretty proud of myself. Didn't run run my mouth about the engineer clan. Too bad. <laughs> so, made it through a video. Didn't swear either. So, yay to me. So, appreciate everyone for watching till the end. Ch check out the website. Got a big website for everyone. ClashMadeEasy.com Go check out the website for me. Sub to the channel. Appreciate everyone for watching. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.